bright side, Hunter. You didn't turn into a symbiote monster. Damn it. We needed that sanctum. Parchment of power safe so far, but he won't withstand a full on assault from Lilith on his own. He will not be on his own. Legendary Johnny Blaze. I have heard much. Hear that? This is your fault. Play with Mama all you want. I've got people to save. Mama. Long story. We'll just have to hope Blaze can handle the escape on his own. You've got a big problem of your own to deal with now. All that and the one she sunk make things a lot harder unless you destroy them too. Take out the big lady in a rock collection. They've not changed their plans. And just because Lilith decided to talk through this one, don't feel the need to show it any mercy. Looking good for you. That looked like it hurt. I'm gonna wreck you again. I've got a reputation to protect. Damn you! 
one for you. Is it my turn now? those altars may be the fastest way to bring her down. Assuming we can get past that guardian. Not my first rock monster rodeo. I guess the job done. after me any altars you don't destroy she'll attempt to turn into monuments shrines to Lilith that manipulate the I never knew my mother was so vain I assume that comes with the territory when you have a cult following to maintain Lilith won't be happy to see her favored ones fall so easily Today. Let's hope not. Not 
looks on me, Skullboy. You heard the lady. You ain't 
good enough for me. Now it's my turn. Do some for the rest of us. found the ideal servant in this one. Soul was black long before she got to it. Yeah, when it comes to pieces of the You keep talking, but I'm still Stop the midnight sun. The entire world will get far bloodier. Not my problem anymore. Forget the damn prophecy. I know I sure as hell am. Aren't you gonna follow him? Nah. He may not have been listening. But I am. Keep talking, kid. What happened at that carnival was a tragedy. One that could have been avoided. If you did not keep so many secrets... Oh, well, what is this, a duet? 
Since when did you two get so chummy? Don't change the subject. The spirits of vengeance have always been the secret guardians of the parchment of power. Guardians? <laughs> Blaze is probably using the page as toilet paper right now. I met the guy. You're giving him too much credit. We did what we had to do. That secret kept the page out of our enemy's hands for centuries. At what cost? You cannot win this war with secrets. Magic is right. If we're going to stop Lilith from causing any more massacres, we need to come clean with each other, now. There is nothing else, Captain. I wish I could believe you. So do I. Then I don't see a point in continuing this conversation. Grade A, Bull. I can see you are still upset, Ileana. Of course I'm still upset. Caretaker continuously stonewalls us and expects all of us to just go along and make nice. But it never works out that way. You would think she would have learned by now, but I guess not. She should trust us more. I am sure Caretaker's intentions came from a good place. Good intentions mean nothing when the outcome causes harm. She probably does not see it that way. I don't care how she sees it. Neither Caretaker nor Tony told us she gave the page to Blaze for safekeeping. They should know he's one of the least safe people on the planet. No matter what Robbie says. Now all that stands between this realm and Cathan is that overrated stuntman. <sighs> Entrusting it to him was a mistake. Consider Caretaker and Stark know something we do not about Blaze. Oh yeah? Like what? The Parchment of Power is known to have corrupting effects on its keeper. It twists his or her soul. And, well... Okay, I get it. Blaze is already a bit twisted, so the parchment cannot twist him that much further. Exactly. It probably will not affect him as much as it would one of us. Blaze has the parchment, and I cannot change that. Let's just hope he can hold on to it. Is Steve Rogers everyone's ideal dad? You know, it's kind of rude to walk around in here and not give me so much as a hello. I assumed you were asleep. Uh, I don't sleep much. But that doesn't stop me from enjoying the company of a comfortable bed when I spot one. After that fight at the Quentin Carnival, I suppose we all could use a lengthy rest. I can't get too comfortable. Not so long as Sabretooth's still out there. He is your quarry, I take it? I guess you could say that. We have a history. None of it nice. Though he's definitely changed. His nasty side got... well, nastier. Facing Lilith will bring changes upon all of us. As we have seen, some will inevitably fall into the dark. And maybe some of us will emerge stronger. Don't forget the other side of that little coin. Stronger, of course. Does not look like you are planning to stay long. Some find our abbey to be a bit unnerving. Well, this place is nothing. You'd be surprised at some of the places I've rested my boots. I feel compelled to warn you that we, the living, are not alone here at the Abbey. Wait, you telling me this place has got ghosts? If that makes you uncomfortable... <laughs> not at all. This ain't my first visit to Caretaker and Agatha's House of Oddities. We go way back. I see the way you're looking at me. 
Who's this mysterious guy hanging out in my place all of a sudden? Perhaps. Tell you what, I've got a little break between people trying to kill me, so let's have a little chat. What do you know about this Johnny Blaze? He's a flaming jackass. Used to be known as the Spirit of Vengeance, until even his attitude got too bad for that job. Seems like he's really committed to the carny life now. Must be the funnel cakes and fried candy bars. Do you think a man like that is up to the challenge before him? Guarding the parchment of power is not a task taken lightly. Yeah, we face some vile customers together. He may not have the flaming skull thing anymore, but he's got guts where it counts. How long have you known Sabretooth? Seems like you two have a history. His real name's Victor Creed, and you're right. We've got bad blood going back a long time. Believe it or not, we used to be teammates and pals. Kinda. They say familiarity breeds contempt. Yeah, well, they get things dead on sometimes. Didn't take me long to notice he wasn't exactly playing with a full deck. Creed and I have long since chosen to follow different paths. Yet somehow we keep ending up at the same friggin' destination. You seem like a nomad, but surely you have a place you call home. I guess you could say Xavier's place has been the closest thing to a real home I've ever had. Who? Oh, Professor Charles Xavier. He's got a swanky place outside of New York City. A, a private school. Lots of space and plenty of interesting folk. It's a lot like your Abbey here. Except Charles has a baseball field. Baseball? Yeah. If you got interest, I'd be happy to explain all the rules sometime. You seem to know everyone. I assume you know the Midnight Suns as well. I know some of these kids. Didn't know they got themselves a band name. Who do you know? Magic, for instance. She's the kid sister of a buddy of mine. Pyotr Rasputin. I call him Colossus. Interesting. You and she have similar attitudes. Maybe because we have similar backgrounds. I grew up in Canada, surrounded by wolves. and She grew up in Limbo, surrounded by demons. Which place is worse? Canada or Limbo? Oh, Limbo. They don't have hockey. Did I hear you correctly? You know Caretaker? She's an interesting lady. First met her when I was a lot less grizzled. I would like to hear this story. It's not exactly a funny story, and I don't want to embarrass the old lady. Maybe I'll tell you some other time. I have taken up enough of your time. I should go. It's been a pleasure. If you have more questions, you know where to find me. Hunter, you there? I'm in the library. It's super important you meet me here ASAP. I saw a listing for... What are you reading, Nico? A limited edition print of the Book of Thoth. The Book of Thoth? Where did you find a book of such rarity? I didn't. Someone just left it out. Weird, too, because I was looking for a book on chaos magic so I could understand Wanda's grimoire a little better. I didn't think I was going to find any, since Caretaker probably hid or burned every single text on the topic. But, poof, here this was, waiting for me. It does seem to be one of the centers of supernatural activity around here. You feel that too, huh? Sometimes when I'm in here, all the hairs on my neck stand straight up. But in a warm and fuzzy, friendly ghost kind of way. Find anything helpful in it? I did. 
There's a historical account of an ancient Egyptian pharaoh who was struck by a dark madness after reading a page from an old book called <clears throat> The Scrolls of Cathod. Wait, that is another name for the Darkhold, I know. You know, I wouldn't be surprised if this was the first case of corruption in recorded history. It is certainly possible. From reading the story, I think so. So the legend goes that nothing could cure the pharaoh until this traveling light worker came along, laid his hands upon the pharaoh, and recited an incantation. The pharaoh came back to his senses and returned to his good old classical Egyptian disbody self. This light worker sounds like a courageous soul. I hope he was honored. He didn't live to be. So like, when the light worker recited the incantation, he absorbed all the pharaoh's corruption into his own body and, uh, died. He did not survive? No, but the lines of the incantation he used are scattered throughout this book. I'm gonna have magic help me transcribe them and see if we can use them to cure Wanda. Let me get this straight. You and Magic plan on piecing together a 100,000 year old incantation that worked once and killed the person who said it? Yes? Well, if you want to save Wanda, you will have to take risks. 100%. Well, I'm gonna find Magic, see if we can make a dent in this transcription. I'll give you a shout when we do. Until then, not a word about this to anyone. Okay, so I'm a Spider-Man caught up in a world of magic and demons. How do I keep getting into these messes? Oh, Hunter, you here to yell at me too? They're accusing me of keeping secrets, as if that's the biggest problem we have right now. I don't know, maybe the demonic green sky over New York was too subtle for them to notice? I think they noticed. Well, it wasn't intentional. We were supposed to win in New York. We weren't supposed to lose the Sanctum, or Avengers Tower. <sighs> or Banner. I mean, call me crazy, but would sitting everyone down and telling them all about Blaze and the parchment really have made a difference? You should share everything with the team. It is the only way to build trust. Well, maybe I dislike sharing everything. Probably some latent issues related to my parents' death, and whoa, 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 I better save some for my therapist. Things are spiraling out of control, and right now, I just need to figure out what to do about this prophecy. You really think you can stop the Darkhold's prophecy by working in here? Well, I'm kind of known for making the impossible possible. Give me a couple hours and a decent lunch, maybe an Italian hoagie, and I can fix anything. Trust me. I do not see any solution that will make the Darkhold just go away. Ah, too bad it won't. Wouldn't that be great? If it just went away? Please excuse me. I need to jot down some ideas. Are you making prophecies of your own? Shoo! Go! Go! Genie's at work! <sighs> Gotta get a sign. Wolverine's how old? Sure, let's throw a nut. Tony, I can't think about that now. The Sanctum wasn't just a home. You doing okay? It's nothing. What is wrong? I can't play darts anymore. Why not? I can't lose. I get the max score every game. I can even pull off some crazy Robin Hood shots. I've tried blindfolds, facing away from the board, and one finger throws. Perfect score, every time. You need to find something to replace darts. Like what? If physical activity is too easy for you, why not try something different? 
Hmm. Tony always tries to get me to play Go. That's because it's the only scenario where he knows he can kick my butt. So learn how to play. Beat him at his own game. Maybe. He's insufferable when he's winning. Always gets under my skin. Then the game you are really playing is learning not to let Tony under your skin. That's clever. And it'll freak him out. Yeah, okay. I'll try it. It's right. 